Hi everyone. Uh, so today we have uh, you know Vikas with us uh, in this particular podcast. Uh, so just to share with you all, uh, Vikas is one of our uh, success stories. You know, like uh, who have successfully you know made a career transition into the field of uh, data science. So I thought uh, in, of inviting uh, Vikas today with us so that he can share his uh, you know uh, which could actually help uh, you know lot of people like you who are aspirants to you know build your career successfully. So Vikas, uh, thank you so much. First of all, uh, so being a part of this podcast to you know share your thoughts and views with all of us, you know, which could be really helpful. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome you uh, with that note uh, for this particular podcast. Okay, so it's my pleasure to attend this meeting, sir. Actually. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so Vikas, uh, to start with, uh, let us start with uh, understanding your background first. You know, like uh, uh, what is your educational background, and after that, uh, we can talk about uh, before taking up this course. You know, how was your uh, things? You know, what were you doing and things like that. So, if you can share a little bit about that. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Hi, all. I'm Vikas Biji. Actually, I I'm from basically from Tumkur, Karnataka. Uh, I have completed mm-hmm. my graduation in uh, civil engineering B uh, from MSRT mm-hmm. Bangalore. Like uh, mm-hmm. after I completed my graduation in 2020. After that, uh, mm-hmm. I joined. I started my career in uh, Bureau of Veritas Private Limited mm-hmm. in civil mm-hmm. background. Like it's a purely civil background uh, company. Like there, mm-hmm. I worked in Metro. Mm-hmm. After that, I joined Ashoka Bilkan as a highway site engineer for two months. After okay. that. I felt bored because I didn't find any like uh, growth in my career. Like uh, mm-hmm. I was in the I was working as a site engineer, right? Like uh, I didn't get a chance to build my career. Like uh, so that I want uh, at that moment I wanted to change my career. So at that moment my friend told me about this data science uh, course and all. And uh, okay. my mutual friend actually like took a course from business ties only. So she got placed <laughs> okay. in a company. So that I got a confidence so that I can get a job also in this uh, field. Okay. Actually, mm-hmm. I was very fair about uh, programming and all because mm-hmm. in my degree, in the first year also, I struggled a lot to clear my C programming. Just a C programming uh, subject only, I struggled a lot to clear that subject. So that at that moment only, I was fixed. Like, I will not join a telecast. I will not join a software company. I'll, I'll, like, I'll uh, do the, uh, I'll do everything in a civil field only. At that moment, I got fixed like that. After that, okay. I didn't grow, like, uh, I didn't get any growth in my career. At that time, I don't, I didn't have any option to, I didn't have any option that, and also the data science is not a purely uh, IT background. Like, uh, it's a new, career and uh, it's a growing one it's actually it's a booming right that's why i thought that to join data science so my suggest my friend suggested me to take this course from business size only so okay. i took a course in business size and i uh, i successfully cleared it and i got a job that's like okay. i'm really happy about it so. okay 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 Okay, uh, so you decided that you know one of your friend uh, suggested you uh, with business choice, and but though you had a fear, you know somehow you came out with that fear and you started learning, right? So yes, if you can talk about uh, you know your learning experience, you know with business choice, how business choice helped you in uh, learning aspects, you know how, if you can share some uh, you know views on that. So whatever I learned from business choice, right? Everything was new for me. Like mm-hmm. I learned like in a proper way, especially I'm very grateful to Shivam sir, Shivam sir, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I was very like a fear in a coding, right? Shivam sir yeah. helped me a lot at that moment. Mm-hmm. He, like uh, wherever I start, he used to like uh, teach me a lot, sir. Actually, mm-hmm. I'm very <laughs> thankful to Shivam sir and also everyone, sir. Actually, the That's... thing is like, I was very fair about programming only, especially in programming. In the mm-hmm. beginning, like uh, whatever you uh, thought, right? Like uh, in the descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, like those are new. But the thing is, like, I can like uh, I can get to know that very easily. All those things. That's the thing. Uh, but the coding one, like Shivam sir. <laughs> okay. So how did you overcome that? Like you know, like if you can uh, talk about uh, the ways which you followed, which helped you to you know uh, overcome your uh, fear there, and uh, which helped you to basically. You know, get strong in coding and things. What was your uh, practice line, basically? Like, at that moment, I started to. 
<laughs> at that moment i started to love coding sir so that i can okay. get to, like i can learn very easily and i can very fastly so that I, every day i used to do some coding in small like mm-hmm. uh, i used to go some to some videos where i start i used to ask mm-hmm. ask shivam sir or uh, mm-hmm. ashwin sir so mm-hmm. that i can understand after that uh, the coding was very easy and like uh, it was very lovely uh, topic for me at that moment okay. so that okay. i can i understood very well so that the coding will become very easy for me okay okay that's that's really uh, happy to you know and uh, listen to that okay yes, uh, so talking about you did the course you know you learned the things those things were like completely new for you so yes, but sir. still uh, you made an attempt to learn that uh, you know with a commitment and things yes, now sir. after uh, like once you learned the things you know uh, when it comes to giving an interview and things what part of your learning which actually helped you uh, if you can uh, you know like point out certain things which actually helped you in uh, cracking the interview so how was business choice teaching or the curriculum uh, how was it uh, helpful for you actually in cracking the name yeah so when i applied for this job sir currently i'm working in idea for cry when i applied this job i got a mail that you are shortlisted for the interview and that mm-hmm. I, at that moment i approached you on this sir like yes. how to attend the interview and uh, you told me to learn few things like uh, as per mission to this mission learning like algorithms and basics of pro coding and all so that you can clear the interview so that i followed the same path Mm-hmm. i got a only one day at that moment so that i followed the same path so that i can uh, at that moment i was cleared about all those topics and i cleared that interview actually okay. uh, each and every steps actually like whatever mm-hmm. you thought uh, distributed statistics and coding mm-hmm. and uh, machine learning algorithms whatever ashwin sir thought also like those questions mm-hmm. only they asked in the interview especially and the, okay. uh, but in the coding part it was difficult little difficult even though i was uh, in the, like uh, i was good at coding at that moment whatever what they asked right uh, they purely asked on nlp only spacey mm-hmm. uh, libraries i was very mm-hmm. like uh, at that moment uh, i didn't go through nlp and all so mm-hmm. at that moment i felt difficult but uh, whatever i made some approaches to that coding right that was mm-hmm. good so that's why i got short stated and i got a job mm-hmm. <laughs> okay okay so now that uh, we are very happy that you know you are now uh, ml engineer and uh, you know from yes, your civil engineering background you were able to you know successfully make your career transition here yes. so now uh, if you would like to share uh, you know a day of an ml engineer how does it look like you know for our learners so so can you tell uh, like how is a day of an uh, ml engineer looks like you know what does you do <laughs> you know on a daily basis yes, so actually it's a nice job actually like a uh, ml engine like it's nothing but it's a coding every day i used to do some codings every day mm-hmm. like uh, it's a coding part only and uh, it's a lovely job actually i'm what mm-hmm. i'm doing is like uh, you know, our company is purely based on nlp now they are extending to computer vision also so mm-hmm. the our task is to generate a data so that mm-hmm. and we used to pre processing clean the data and we need okay. to use give to the customers as a like mm-hmm. as we as our company is working business to business solutions so mm-hmm. we used to give the uh, proper data like uh, we, without any junks and all we, do, we used to do like we need to you know, create a model to extract the data we mm-hmm. don't get any data from the companies like uh, and all so we used to get a data from the google google is the master so we used to get a data and we used to build a model to get a data and you need to build a model to clean the data and everything and mm-hmm. in our company also they have some uh, like uh, web applications to present to okay. our customers and all like that's the issue so, like uh, i'm learning very easily and very fast also as i'm uh, joined to startup company i'm doing mm-hmm. everything when i initially started my career in data science initially i worked as a like i worked in even though i joined as a data, uh, machine learning engineer i worked in data analysis field and uh, this one like a uh, business analysis and everything and after that data engineering also i did and uh, and now like pa- past one month i'm doing actually machine learning engineering uh, works before i okay. used to do some other task like uh, basis basic one okay. now it's uh, okay. actually good one my <laughs> okay. destination is also good <laughs> yes sir. okay 
Okay. I'm really happy that, you know, you are completely into machine learning and uh, the way you are expressing it, it shows the amount of love which you have your, for your work, actually. Okay. Okay. Actually, it's because of you <laughs> people only, sir. Actually. <laughs> it is all your, uh, you know, dedication and hard work and commitment, you know, which has, uh, you know, brought you here. So we are really happy, you know, to have uh, people like you, you know, with us uh, and we are privileged. So uh, finally, if uh, you can give some tips, you you know, to the learners uh, based on you, you know, what are the things someone should basically focus on, you know, so that they can succeed in this particular field? If you can suggest some of the tips, what you feel that, uh, which is important. Like, like actually, whatever you are teaching uh, in the day from business size, it's actually, it's enough. Like whatever I related in the uh, uh, interview, right? They will ask you the same questions only. Nothing they will ask out of the, those things. Like it's based on the one, like in our company, uh, they were working on NLP. So they used to ask on NLP only, but I didn't mm-hmm. take a NLP part from, uh, from business ties. Actually, I did only like first part only, right? That's why uh-huh. like, apart from that, the coding, so actually the coding one, mm-hmm. like uh, we need to be a very good in coding, especially in Python. Mm-hmm. Like uh, if we are good in coding, they will, obviously they will select like uh, it's a main one. Like uh, they will mm-hmm. filter almost all the people from the coding only. If you know mm-hmm. the coding in in good way, like they, we can get a job very easily. After mm-hmm. that, the technical one, the technical one will be the same. So, so whatever I made a note from your institute, mm-hmm. those things only I prepared, and from those only I answered very easily, sir. Actually, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay, that's uh, really thing. Yeah, please continue. Please continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the issue. Sir. That's that's what the uh, that's what I am want to tell you. The thing is like if you go through all the like uh, lectures as you like as you are making as people are making and uh, notes like notes so actually we need to make a notes like okay. if you make a notes it will be very easy okay. and uh, coding one and machine learning mm-hmm. algorithm as we know like Ashtin sir is uh, teaching uh, as thought very nicely about machine learning algorithms and Shivam mm-hmm. sir also like if you studied that much it will be enough sir, actually. <laughs> I okay. want to suggest you that is like if we learn NLP as well as computer vision, like in deep learning, it will be very nice. Like okay. I didn't take okay. that part. I'm very sad about that. Like, <laughs> if you take that one also, it will be very nice to crack the interview. Mm-hmm. Or not. Yes, okay okay that's really uh you know like a uh, nice suggestions uh thank you very much uh, on that uh, vikas so it was really uh you know good uh, kind of a podcast where i definitely feel that you know the people who have been going through this particular podcast they would have got really good amount of uh you know understanding on these particular aspects as well so thank you so much uh you know for your time and uh, you know being a part of this particular uh, you know podcast uh, sharing your knowledge and tips uh, you know with a lot of learners i'm definitely sure this would be very uh, useful and helpful you know for the people to follow and uh, get succeeded like you okay thank you thank, thank you so you, much uh, thank, thank you, you.